you just allow it, please? I'm trying to make a video, and all you're doing is just making me look like an idiot because I've done highest KD, but then you get twats like this kid. Oh, yeah, I'm calling them out. I'm calling them out right now. What's going on, guys? It's your boy, Far World, back again with another video. We've got some new faces around. Hi to you guys that have just subscribed, and obviously, welcome back to those who have been subscribed for a long time. I appreciate the support. Now, in this today's video, on my last one, the... Uh, highest win percentage I've got a few people asking about kill death so I thought why not please the fans give them what they want so this guy right here deadly or wolf he's got some insane KD going on he's almost got a 10.0 KD in fact it's somewhere somewhere in the region of 9.6 odd now I mean there are players with higher but let me just explain why I've chosen this guy so for the it's just a bit of a technical reason really on the when you want to download the theater file they have to have played a game with within like the last week and some of the people that had like 10 point eyes and that didn't hadn't played in, since like february so i had to choose someone that had um a high kd but also played fairly regularly and this was this guy and unfortunately in the time it's taken me to download the files and uh record it now he's actually his kd has dropped slightly so he is a current player he's current in playing in the current meta and uh, in the current update and he's actually silver too so let's see all right so here we're on strongholds on eden and uh he's obviously going to be trying challenging for that active camouflage remember this guy doesn't tend to die if he dies now it'll be really awkward he doesn't tend to die he has really high kd so i'm going to be seeing what he can do well, that was easy. First kill. He gets the first strike as well. His teammate is going to get the camouflage, and they've got control of two bases, and they are scoring points. So at this current moment, he's crouching behind this wall, and if it's the way <laughs> this is the way he plays, I will be really frustrated. Um, I'm just going to speed up, see if he actually moves. No, not moving at all. I swear, if he stays on one kill for the rest of this game, I'm going to kill this kid. <laughs> Okay, so our friend here, Deadly Wolf, actually did get a back smack, so he's one and one now. Um, so I reckon he's probably a smurf or, on this account because no one has a high KD but yet plays in silver too. It just doesn't work like that really. So I reckon he's a smurf, and he's just picked up the uh, the overshield, which he did time very well. That timing was good. That was nine thirty, I believe, and he's going for camo as well. And is he going to hide behind this wall? Oh no, oh, oh, he's just going to stay still with camouflage and the assault rifle and the other team have lost the player and this is going to be an absolute walkover, there's not really too much point in me spectating on this one because we know the outcome, we know he ain't going to die and um, I'll probably see you in the next game. 20 minutes later. Alright, we're back on with a new game and it's Strongholds again but this time it's on Plaza and right off the bat as you can see he doesn't get the camouflage but his teammate does manage to pick up the kill. As this is silver you can sort of imagine some uh, fairly uh, no, abstract playstyles, not too much communication going on. But at the moment uh, Strongholds are 1-1. One -on -one. What happened in the previous game was uh, he betrayed his teammate once and then the game ended. Uh, the only t the, um, the other team only had two players left, so there was very little uh, point in me showing you it. So let's just see what he does. So there you go, first kill right there for Deadly Wolf, and he hasn't died yet, but he's under some fire, and he goes down. So for a player that has a high KD, this guy in Team Arena is he's, he's sort of lacking a little bit. I'm not sure. Uh, maybe this is why he's dropping. Maybe the more he climbs, the more his KD. Okay, and for some reason, in Silver, you can't actually play a 4-on-4. Four four. It always has to be a 4-on-3. So the other team are now down to three players, and it's going to be extremely hard for them to come back now. Um, I, on, quite honestly, I don't actually think there's much point in me showing you this game either, because people don't even... For some reason, they don't even play. Why don't they play? Can you just allow it, please? I'm trying to make a video, and... All you're doing is just making me look like an idiot because I've done highest KD, but then you get twats like this kid. Oh yeah, I'm calling them out. I'm calling them out right now. This kid, all he's doing is just, all he's doing is just camping in the corner with a shotgun. I'm gonna have to skip to the end again, I think. 
Fair play to Deadly Wolf here. He's actually evened up the teams, I've just noticed. So, uh, three on three now because this guy has decided to uh, be a bit of AFK action. And all he's doing is just moving the little controller just a bit sideways so he doesn't get that AFK man. Classic, classic uh, feature that. So, um, yeah. Well played, sir. Oh, hang on. He's off. He's off. He's off on his bike. He's, he's no longer staying still. And he's... Oh, he's betrayed. Amazing, honestly, you, you just can't help some people, bloody hell. So, the player he just killed could have well been on a killing spree of some kind, uh, but instead he's going for the betrayals. Nice one, mate. I, I fully rate this type of playstyle. Six and a half hours later. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, this is Slayer. This is where he actually has to fight. So, I have a feeling this might be his game. I have a feeling Slayer is his grind. So, off the bat, he's actually really aggressive here, going straight for the rocket launcher. And uh, uncontested, that's what Silver get there. Obviously, that's uh easy kill. <laughs> Jesus Christ, these uh, these Silver players really aren't up to the, the old cop, are they? His favourite spot. No? Oh, he's resisted the urge. Pistol shots, and it said perfect there. Obviously, the theatre mode doesn't correctly align the shot so that's why it actually looked like he missed good perfect though fair play to him he got a perfect um even though it didn't look like it from where we're sitting but in the actual game he did so fair enough to him didn't actually have to use a rocket so and his team are eight and two at the moment so going fairly well he's two kills no deaths so yeah not bad mate not bad he might be walking along that top side he is and he pulls out the rockets if that player had any awareness whatsoever he would have noticed that but unfortunately, it does go down. I can see this being an absolute runaway. I mean, I'm surprised none of them are quit yet. 11 and 3 after, what, like a minute and a half, realistically. So, and there's another one, 12 and 3. This. So, ladies and gentlemen, well, well, there's a bit of a break in the action. I'd just like to mention everyone that said, do highest KD. KD reflects player. No, 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 no. Having a good KD is nothing. That doesn't mean it's shit. This guy has the fifth highest currently KD on Halo Tracker in Team Arena. But look, I mean, he's firstly, it's a smurf, so does it really count? And secondly, he was being a twat in the earlier games. He wasn't playing properly, and, and he can't even get... Okay, it takes two shots to kill someone with a rocket launcher. Oh, what well a mate. But can you see what I'm trying to say? I mean, people say KD matters, KD matters. It doesn't really, mate. Just look at your rank and your ability to work as a team is more important than your kill-death ratio. Also, what you should be looking at is your kill-death-assist ratio because in the end, your kill participation should be high as well. And while this guy here is getting easy battle rifle and rocket launcher kills with the sniper rifle while only 30 seconds around the corner, it doesn't really reflect any true skill. And I know you guys in the comments will probably be absolutely bollocking this guy saying, I can do better, I can do better. And you probably can. I'm not gonna dis I'm not gonna dispute that, and he got lucky there because he definitely should have died. But yeah, I'm not gonna dispute that. He's not that good of a player. But at the end of the day, you ask for highest KD, and I'm giving it to you. This guy's got an almost 10.0 KD. But let's be honest, any of us that went on a Smurf account could could probably do it. Only the problem was when I got on a Smurf, I played at FFA, obviously slightly harder than um, than Team Arena. But at the moment, he's obviously doing fairly well. What is he on? Nine kills, one assist, no deaths. This is what you paid to watch. This is what you expected. This is what I expected. I expected someone on a Smurf account that actually destroys. That just destroys. And what I like about this guy, to be fair to him, he doesn't overdo anything. He knows what he's capable of. He doesn't run in 4v1 without any support. Look, he's just pushing up now with rockets. He's got his team behind him. Looking for the spawners with the sniper rifle. I like it. Rocket around the corner. Probably could have gone up the ramp instead of doing this move. That is a killing frenzy for your boy. And he's just going to continue going. And uh, honestly, I can't I can't see when this is going to end. Nice sniper headshot. First of the game for this player here. Oh, Manages to hit that. And teammate picks up the kill onto Master BK10. But yeah, as I was saying, focus on your rank and your communication between teammates. Not necessarily your KD. And that's why, when, um, that's why I did highest 
win percentage because that actually shows a true like complete level of skill I mean it's one thing just being able to slay bronze and silver players but it's another thing being able to compete at the highest level of champion and actually consistently win games uh, and obviously play well as a team you might be going negative a couple of games so what that's what teammates are for you can't carry every game if there's one thing I've learned from League of Legends that is you should not even if you do do some outrageous techs and like you're so above the other players you don't, you don't win every time. You can't single-handedly carry a game and win every single time. And this guy here, to be fair to him, as I said, 12 and 2. I mean, oh, no, 12 and no, oh, Sorry, he's, he's doing well. and But really, is no really true reflection of a particular skill level. Good snipe. <laughs> but, you know, it's, it's a bit... It's like a goose chase, really. This guy, um, very little could go wrong! Until then, what the fuck happened? <laughs> Let me see that again. So here we go. You've got the player down there. Now, what do I think happened? It's something to do with these barrels here. I think it's something to do with the barrels. But we're just going to have a have a little watch and see what actually happened. If we can in the slow motion, frame by frame. Here we go. Is that a grenade down there? Holy <laughs> shit. Did they go up? I can't tell. I can't even see. It's too bright. No, what the fuck? Honestly, I have absolutely... Oh my god, he didn't He didn't shoot that, did he? Did he shoot the... Did he shoot the, le the ledge? We have to see that again, boy. So here we are again. Jumps, does he? Does he jump? Does he jump? Because if he jumps... he Oh, yes, he does. He shoots the ledge. <laughs> Rookie error, mate. Unlucky son. That is a death for you. See you later. That's quite an embarrassing death. I'm not going to lie to you. That's that's one of those ones where you're doing so well. Just get a little bit cocky and don't really think about it. Hands over the sniper and the rockets to the enemy team. But it's not going to matter too much. He gets a sniper rifle back as you just saw. Uh, switches out for the SMG. Oh, classic nade and bait. Easy. Two grenades. The guy just follows him. What is this? I mean, you probably are watching it and going... I could do that, and you probably can. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna deny that. Easy snipe. I said, as I said, goose hunting. It's a, it's a fairly easy. Wait, do I mean goose hunting or do I mean duck hunting? I probably mean duck hunting, but it's like a wild goose chase. There you are. That's probably what I meant. But you know, this guy. There's not really much more to say. I mean, you can see where he gets his KDs from. When he plays Slayer, he goes 16 and one. There is very, very little point in uh, disputing this. Anyway, guys, we are coming towards the end of the game, and it will be the end of the video. Now, I know you're probably thinking to yourself, what a short video, and I'll agree. I mean, but in the, at the end of the day, I'm sorry, but there's not really much I can do when this guy's a bit of a twat when it comes to Team Arena. And obviously, as I said, highest KD doesn't reflect anything. Just take this for example, and next time you're feeling your ass off, hey, don't don't be upset about it. it. Happens to the best of us. So yeah, guys, that's all from me from today. This is the player with a almost a 10.0 KD spread, and fair play to you. And if you want, the moral of the story is KD doesn't reflect you as a player. However, if you do want a good KD, make a second account. Lose 10 games in a row, start in bronze one, and work your way back the fuck up that ladder. You can have a lot of fun doing it. I'm not going to lie, I've done it before in FFA. A lot of fun. Anyway, guys, as I said, that's all from me. If you did enjoy, please leave a like, rating, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Comment what you want to see next. Peace out.